Berkeley, Berkeley is a city on the east shore of San Francisco Bay in northern Alameda County, California. It is named after the 18th-century Irish bishop and philosopher George Berkeley. It borders the cities of Oakland and Emeryville to the south and the city of Albany and the unincorporated community of Kensington to the north. Its eastern border with Contra Costa County generally follows the ridge of the Berkeley Hills. The 2010 census recorded a population of 112,580. Berkeley is home to the oldest campus in the University of California system, the University of California, Berkeley, and the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, which is managed and operated by the university. It also has the Graduate Theological Union, one of the largest religious studies institutions in the world. Berkeley is one of the most socially liberal cities in the United States. History Early history The site of today's city of Berkeley was the territory of the Chochenyo, Hutchian band of the Ohlone people when the first Europeans arrived. Evidence of their existence in the area include pits in rock formations, which they used to grind acorns, and a shell mound, now mostly leveled and covered up, along the shoreline of San Francisco Bay at the mouth of Strawberry Creek. Other artifacts were discovered in the 1950s in the downtown area during remodeling of a commercial building, near the upper course of the creek. The first people of European descent most of whom were of mixed race and born in America arrived with the De Anza expedition in 1776. Today, this is noted by signage on Interstate 80, which runs along the San Francisco Bay shoreline of Berkeley. The De Anza expedition led to establishment of the Spanish Presidio of San Francisco at the entrance to San Francisco Bay the Golden Gate. Luis Peralta was among the soldiers at the Presidio. For his services to the King of Spain, he was granted a vast stretch of land on the east shore of San Francisco Bay the Contra Costa opposite shore for a ranch, including that portion that now comprises the city of Berkeley. Luis Peralta named his holding, Rancho San Antonio. The primary activity of the ranch was raising cattle for meat and hides, but hunting and farming were also pursued. Eventually, Peralta gave portions of the ranch to each of his four sons. What is now Berkeley lies mostly in the portion that went to Peralta's son Domingo, with a little in the portion that went to another son, Vicente. No artifact survives of the Domingo or Vicente ranches, but their names survive in Berkeley Street names Vicente, Domingo, and Peralta. However, legal title to all land in the city of Berkeley remains based on the original Peralta land grant. The Peralta's Rancho San Antonio continued after Alta California passed from Spanish to Mexican sovereignty after the Mexican War of Independence. However, the advent of U.S. sovereignty after the Mexican-American War, and especially, the Gold Rush, saw the Peralta's lands quickly encroached on by squatters and diminished by dubious legal proceedings. The lands of the brothers Domingo and Vicente were quickly reduced to reservations close to their respective ranch homes. The rest of the land was surveyed and parceled out to various American claimants see Kellersberger's map. Politically, the area that became Berkeley was initially part of a vast Contra Costa County. On March 25, 1853, Alameda County was created from a division of Contra Costa County, as well as from a small portion of Santa Clara County. The area that became Berkeley was then the northern part of the Oakland Township subdivision of Alameda County. During this period, Berkeley was mostly a mix of open land, farms, and ranches, with a small, though busy, wharf by the bay. <laughs> Late 19th century In 1866, Oakland's private college of California looked for a new site. It settled on a location north of Oakland along the foot of the Contra Costa Range later called the Berkeley Hills astride Strawberry Creek, at an elevation about 500 feet 150 meters above the bay, commanding a view of the Bay Area and the Pacific Ocean through the Golden Gate. According to the Centennial Record of the University of California, in 1866, at Founders Rock, a group of College of California men watched two ships standing out to sea through the Golden Gate. 
One of them, Frederick Billings, thought of the lines of the Anglo-Irish Anglican Bishop George Barclay, westward the course of empire takes its way, and suggested that the town and college site be named for the 18th-century Anglo-Irish philosopher. The philosopher's name is pronounced Barclay, but the city's name, to accommodate American English, is pronounced Berkeley. The College of California's College Homestead Association planned to raise funds for the new campus by selling off adjacent parcels of land. To this end, they laid out a plat and street grid that became the basis of Berkeley's modern street plan. Their plans fell far short of their desires, and they began a collaboration with the state of California that culminated in 1868 with the creation of the Public University of California. As construction began on the new site, more residences were constructed in the vicinity of the new campus. At the same time, a settlement of residences, saloons, and various industries grew around the wharf area called Ocean View. A horse car ran from Temescal in Oakland to the university campus along what is now Telegraph Avenue. The first post office opened in 1872. By the 1870s, the Transcontinental Railroad reached its terminus in Oakland. In 1876, a branch line of the Central Pacific Railroad, the Berkeley Branch Railroad, was laid from a junction with the main line called Shellmound, now a part of Emeryville, into what is now downtown Berkeley. That same year, the main line of the Transcontinental Railroad into Oakland was rerouted, putting the right of way along the Bay Shore through Ocean View. There was a strong prohibition movement in Berkeley at this time. In 1876, the state enacted the Mile Limit Law, which forbade sale or public consumption of alcohol within one mile kilometers of the new University of California. Then, in 1899 Berkeley residents voted to make their city an alcohol-free zone. Scientists, scholars, and religious leaders spoke vehemently of the dangers of alcohol. In 1878, the people of Ocean View and the area around the university campus, together with local farmers, incorporated as the town of Berkeley. The first elected trustees of the town were the slate of Dennis Kearney's Workingman's Party, who were particularly favored in the working class area of the former Ocean View, now called West Berkeley. The area near the university became known for a time as East Berkeley. The modern age came quickly to Berkeley, no doubt due to the influence of the university. Electric lights were in use by 1888. The telephone had already come to town. Electric streetcars soon replaced the horse car. A silent film of one of these early streetcars in Berkeley can be seen at the Library of Congress website. A trip to Berkeley, California. Topic: <laughs> Early 20th century. Berkeley's slow growth ended abruptly with the Great San Francisco Earthquake of 1906. The town and other parts of the East Bay escaped serious damage, and thousands of refugees flowed across the bay. Among them were most of San Francisco's painters and sculptors, who between 1907 and 1911 created one of the largest art colonies west of Chicago. Artist and critic Jenny V. Cannon described the founding of the Berkeley Art Association and the rivalries of competing studios and art clubs. In 1904, the first hospitals in Berkeley were created the Alta Bates Sanatorium for Women and Children, founded by nurse Alta Bates on Walnut Street, and the Roosevelt later, Herrick Hospital, by Dr. Leroy Francis Herrick, on the corner of Dwight Way and Milvia Street. In 1908, a statewide referendum that proposed moving the California state capital to Berkeley was defeated by a margin of about 33,000 votes. The city named streets around the proposed capital grounds for California counties. They bear those names today, a legacy of the failed referendum. In 1909, the citizens of Berkeley adopted a new charter, and the town of Berkeley became the city of Berkeley. Rapid growth continued up to the crash of 1929. The Great Depression hit Berkeley hard, but not as hard as many other places in the U.S., thanks in part to the university. On September 17, 1923, a major fire swept down the hills toward the university campus and the downtown section. Around 640 structures burned before a late afternoon sea breeze stopped its progress, allowing firefighters to put it out. The next big growth occurred with the advent of World War II, when large numbers of people moved to the Bay Area to work in the many war industries, such as the immense Kaiser shipyards in nearby Richmond. One who moved out, but played a big role in the outcome of the war was UC. Professor and Berkeley resident J. Robert Oppenheimer. 
During the war, an army base, Camp Ashby, was temporarily sited in Berkeley. The element berkelium was synthesized utilizing the 60-inch cyclotron at UC Berkeley, and named in 1949, recognizing the university, thus also placing the city's name in the list of elements. Topic: 1950s and 1960s. During the 1940s, many African Americans migrated to Berkeley. In 1950, the Census Bureau reported Berkeley's population as 11.7% black and 84.6% white. The post-war years brought moderate growth to the city as events on the UC campus began to build up to the recognizable activism of the 60s. In the 1950s, McCarthyism induced the university to demand a loyalty oath from its professors, many of whom refused to sign the oath on the principle of freedom of thought. In 1960, a U.S. House committee HUAC came to San Francisco to investigate the influence of communists in the Bay Area. Their presence was met by protesters, including many from the university. Meanwhile, a number of UC students became active in the civil rights movement. Finally, in 1964, the university provoked a massive student protest by banning distribution of political literature on campus. This protest became the free speech movement. As the Vietnam War rapidly escalated in the ensuing years, so did student activism at the university, particularly that organized by the Vietnam Day Committee. Berkeley is strongly identified with the rapid social changes, civic unrest, and political upheaval that characterized the late 1960s. In that period, Berkeley—especially Telegraph Avenue—became a focal point for the hippie movement, which spilled over the bay from San Francisco. Many hippies were apolitical dropouts, rather than students, but in the heady atmosphere of Berkeley in 1967–1969 there was considerable overlap between the hippie movement and the radical left. An iconic event in the Berkeley 60s scene was a conflict over a parcel of university property south of the contiguous campus site that came to be called. People's Park. The battle over the disposition of People's Park resulted in a month-long occupation of Berkeley by the National Guard on orders of then-Governor Ronald Reagan. In the end, the park remained undeveloped, and remains so today. A spin-off, People's Park Annex, was established at the same time by activist citizens of Berkeley on a strip of land above the Bay Area Rapid Transit subway construction along Hearst Avenue northwest of the UC campus. The land had also been intended for development, but was turned over to the city by BART and is now Ohlone Park. The era of large public protest in Berkeley waned considerably with the end of the Vietnam War in 1975. While the 1960s were the heyday of liberal activism in Berkeley, it remains one of the most overwhelmingly democratic cities in the United States. Topic. 1970s and 1980s Topic: <laughs> Housing and zoning changes The Berkeley population declined in the 1970s, partly due to an exodus to the suburbs. Some moved because of the rising cost of living throughout the Bay Area, and others because of the decline and disappearance of many industries in West Berkeley. Increasing enrollment at the university led to replacement of older buildings by large apartment buildings, especially in older parts of the city near the university and downtown. Increasing enrollment also led the university to wanting to redevelop certain places of Berkeley, especially Southside, but more specifically People's Park. Preservationists passed the Neighborhood Protection Ordinance in 1973 by ballot measure and the Landmarks Preservation Ordinance in 1974 by City Council. Together, these ordinances brought most new construction to a halt. Facing rising housing costs, residents voted to enact rent control with vacancy decontrol in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> Political movements During the 1970s and 1980s, activists increased their power in local government. This era also saw major developments in Berkeley's environmental and food culture. Berkeley's last Republican mayor, Wallace J.S. Johnson, left office in 1971. Alice Waters opened Chez Panisse in 1971. The first curbside recycling program in the U.S. was started by the Ecology Center in 1973. 
Styrofoam was banned in 1988, as the city leaned more and more democratic, local politics became divided between «progressives» and «moderates». 1984 saw the progressives take the majority for the first time. Nancy Skinner became the first UC Berkeley student elected to city council. In 1986, in reaction to the 1984 election, a ballot measure switched Berkeley from at large to district based elections for city council. In 1983, Berkeley's Domestic Partner Task Force was established, which in 1984 made policy recommendation to the school board, which passed domestic partner legislation. The legislation became a model for similar measures nationwide. Topic. 1990s and 2000s Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> Demographic changes In 1995 California's Costa Hawkins Rental Housing Act ended vacancy control allowing rents to increase when a tenant moved out Despite a slowdown in 2005 to 2007, median home prices and rents remained dramatically higher than the rest of the nation, fueled by spillover from the San Francisco housing shortage and population growth. South and West Berkeley underwent gentrification, with some historically black neighborhoods such as the Adeline Corridor seeing a 50% decline in black African American population from 1990 to 2010. In the 1990s, Public Television's frontline documentary series featured race relations at Berkeley's only public high school, Berkeley High School. With an economy dominated by the University of California and a high-demand housing market, Berkeley was relatively unaffected by the Great Recession. State budget cuts caused the university to increase the number of out-of-state and international students, with international enrollment, mostly from Asia, rising from 2,785 in 2007 to 5,951 in 2016. Since then, more international restaurants have opened downtown and on Telegraph Avenue, including East Asian chains such as 85C Bakery Café and Daiso. The current wave of downtown apartment construction began in 1998, with the construction of a 56-unit mixed-use building at 1910 Oxford Street. The developer, Panoramic Interests, followed up with a total of 368 apartments in seven buildings between 1998 and 2004. Soon afterwards, other developers also began building in Berkeley. One of the buildings from this era was the site of the 2015 Berkeley Balcony Collapse disaster. Protests In 2006, the Berkeley Oak Grove protest began protesting construction of a new sports center annex to Memorial Stadium at the expense of a grove of oak trees on the UC campus. The protest ended in September 2008 after a lengthy court process. In 2007-2008, Berkeley received media attention due to demonstrations against a Marine Corps recruiting office in downtown Berkeley and a series of controversial motions by Berkeley's City Council regarding opposition to Marine recruiting. See Berkeley Marine Corps Recruiting Center controversy. Topic 2010s During the fall of 2010, the Berkeley Student Food Collective opened after many protests on the UC Berkeley campus due to the proposed opening of the fast food chain Panda Express. Students and community members worked together to open a collectively run grocery store right off of the UC Berkeley campus, where the community can buy local, seasonal, humane, and organic foods. The Berkeley Student Food Collective still operates at 2440 Bancroft Way. On September 18, 2012, Berkeley became what may be the first city in the U.S. to officially proclaim a day recognizing bisexuals September 23, which is known as Celebrate Bisexuality Day. On September 2, 2014, the City Council approved a measure to provide free medical marijuana to low income patients. The Measure D soda tax was approved by Berkeley voters on November 4, 2014, the first such tax in the United States. Topic. Protests In the fall of 2011, the nationwide Occupy Wall Street movement came to two Berkeley locations, on the campus of the University of California and as an encampment in Civic Center Park. 
During a Black Lives Matter protest on December 6, 2014, police use of tear gas and batons to clear protesters from Telegraph Avenue led to a riot and five consecutive days and nights of protests, marches, and freeway occupations in Berkeley and Oakland. Afterwards, changes were implemented by the police department to avoid escalation of violence and to protect bystanders during protests. During a protest against bigotry and President Trump in August 2017, anti fascist protesters grew violent against Trump supporters in attendance. Police intervened, arresting 14 people. Sometimes called Antifa, these anti fascist activists were clad in all black, while some carried shields and others had masks or bandanas hiding their faces. Geography Berkeley is located at 37 degrees 52 minutes 18 seconds north 122 degrees 16 minutes 29 seconds west 37.871775, minus 122.274603. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city's 17.7 square miles, 46 square kilometers area includes 10.5 square miles, 27 square kilometers of land and 7.2 square miles, 19 square kilometers, 40.83% water, most of it part of San Francisco Bay. Berkeley borders the cities of Albany, Oakland, and Emeryville and Contra Costa County, including unincorporated Kensington, as well as San Francisco Bay. Berkeley lies within Telephone Area Code 510 until September 2, 1991. Berkeley was part of the 415 Telephone Code that now covers only San Francisco and Marin counties, and the postal zip codes are 94701 through 94710, 94712, and 94720 for the University of California campus. Topic. Geology Most of Berkeley lies on a rolling sedimentary plain that rises gently from sea level to the base of the Berkeley Hills. East of the Hayward Fault along the base of the hills, elevation increases more rapidly. The highest peak along the ridge line above Berkeley is Grizzly Peak, elevation 1,754 feet 535 meters. A number of small creeks run from the hills to the bay through Berkeley, Cerrito, Cadornices, Schoolhouse and Strawberry Creeks are the principal streams. Most of these are largely culverted once they reach the plain west of the hills. The Berkeley Hills are part of the Pacific Coast Ranges, and run in a northwest-southeast alignment. Exposed in the Berkeley Hills are cherts and shales of the Claremont Formation equivalent to the Monterey Formation, conglomerate and sandstone of the Arinda Formation and lava flows of the Moraga Volcanics. Of similar age to the Moraga Volcanics extinct, within the North Bray neighborhood of Berkeley, are outcroppings of erosion-resistant rhyolite. These rhyolite formations can be seen in several city parks and in the yards of a number of private residences. Indian Rock Park in the northeastern part of Berkeley near the Arlington – Marin Circle features a large example. <inaudible> Earthquakes Berkeley is traversed by the Hayward Fault Zone, a major branch of the San Andreas Fault to the west. No large earthquake has occurred on the Hayward Fault near Berkeley in historic times except possibly in 1836, but seismologists warn about the geologic record of large temblers several times in the deeper past. The current assessment is that a Bay Area earthquake of magnitude 6.7 or greater within the next 30 years is likely, with the Hayward Fault having the highest likelihood among faults in the Bay Area of being the epicenter. Moreover, like much of the Bay Area, Berkeley has many areas of some risk to soil liquefaction, with the flat areas closer to the shore at low to high susceptibility. The 1868 Hayward earthquake did occur on the southern segment of the Hayward Fault in the vicinity of today's city of Hayward, hence, how the fault got its name. This quake destroyed the county seat of Alameda County, then located in San Leandro, and it subsequently moved to Oakland. It was strongly felt in San Francisco, causing major damage. It was regarded as the Great San Francisco Earthquake prior to 1906. It produced a furrow in the ground along the fault line in Berkeley, across the grounds of the new state asylum for the deaf, dumb and blind then under construction, which was noted by one early University of California professor. 
Although no significant damage was reported to most of the few Berkeley buildings of the time, the 1868 quake did destroy the vulnerable adobe home of Domingo Peralta in North Berkeley. Today, evidence of the Hayward Faults creeping is visible at various locations in Berkeley. Cracked roadways, sharp jogs in streams, and springs mark the fault's path. However, since it cuts across the base of the hills, the creep is often concealed by or confused with slide activity. Some of the slide activity itself, however, results from movement on the Hayward Fault. A notorious segment of the Hayward Fault runs lengthwise down the middle of Memorial Stadium at the mouth of Strawberry Canyon on the University of California campus. Photos and measurements show the movement of the fault through the stadium. Topic. Climate Berkeley has a cool summer Mediterranean climate type CSB in the Köppen climate classification, with dry summers and wet winters. Berkeley's location directly opposite the Golden Gate ensures that typical eastward fog flow blankets the city more often than its neighbors. The summers are cooler than a typical Mediterranean climate thanks to upwelling ocean currents along the California coast. These help produce cool and foggy nights and mornings. Winter is punctuated with rainstorms of varying ferocity and duration, but also produces stretches of bright sunny days and clear cold nights. It does not normally snow, though occasionally the hilltops get a dusting. Spring and fall are transitional and intermediate, with some rainfall and variable temperature. Summer typically brings night and morning low clouds or fog, followed by sunny, warm days. The warmest and driest months are typically June through September, with the highest temperatures occurring in September. Midsummer is often a bit cooler due to the sea breezes and fog common then. In a year, there are an average of 2.9 days with highs of 90.0 degrees Fahrenheit .2 degrees Celsius or higher, and an average of 0.8 days with lows of 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius or lower. The highest recorded temperature was 107 degrees Fahrenheit 42 degrees Celsius on June 15, 2000 and July 16, 1993, and the lowest recorded temperature was 24 degrees Fahrenheit minus 4 degrees Celsius on December 22, 1990. January is normally the wettest month, averaging 5.13 inches 130 millimeters of precipitation. Average annual precipitation is 25.40 inches (645 mm), falling on an average of 63.7 days each year. The most rainfall in one month was 14.49 inches (368 mm) in February 1998. The most rainfall in 24 hours was 6.98 inches (177 mm) on January 4, 1982. As in most of California, the heaviest rainfall years are usually associated with warm water El Niño episodes in the Pacific e.g., 1982-83, 1997-98, which bring in drenching pineapple express storms. In contrast, dry years are often associated with cold Pacific La Niña episodes. Light snow has fallen on rare occasions. Snow has generally fallen every several years on the higher peaks of the Berkeley Hills. In the late spring and early fall, strong offshore winds of sinking air typically develop, bringing heat and dryness to the area. In the spring, this is not usually a problem as vegetation is still moist from winter rains, but extreme dryness prevails by the fall, creating a danger of wildfires. In September 1923, a major fire swept through the neighborhoods north of the university campus, stopping just short of downtown. See 1923 Berkeley Fire. On October 20, 1991, gusty, hot winds fanned a conflagration along the Berkeley-Oakland border, killing 25 people and injuring 150, as well as destroying 2,449 single-family dwellings and 437 apartment and condominium units. See 1991 Oakland Firestorm. Demographics. The 2010 United States Census reported that Berkeley had a population of 112,580. The population density was 10,752 people per square mile of land area 4,104 per square kilometers. 
The racial makeup of Berkeley was 66,996 white, 11,241 black or African American, 479 Native American, 21,690 Asian 8 Chinese, 2.4% Indian, 2.1% Korean, 1.6% Japanese, 1.5% Filipino, 1.0% Vietnamese, 186 0.2% Pacific Islander, 4,994 4.4% from other races, and 6,994 6 from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino people of any race were 12,209 persons 10.8%, 6.8% of the city's population was of Mexican ancestry. The census reported that 99,731 people of the population lived in households, 12,430 lived in non-institutionalized group quarters, and 419 .4 were institutionalized. There were 46,029 households, out of which 8,467 .4 had children under the age of 18 living in them, 13,569 were opposite-sex married couples living together, 3,855 had a female householder with no husband present, 1,368 had a male householder with no wife present. There were 2,931 unmarried opposite-sex partnerships, and 961 same-sex married couples or partnerships. 16,904 households were made up of individuals and 4,578 had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.17. There were 18,792 families 40.8% of all households, the average family size was 2.81. There were 49,454 housing units at an average density of 2,794.6 per square miles 1,079.0 per square kilometers, of which 46,029 were occupied, of which 18,846 were owner-occupied, and 27,183 .1 were occupied by renters. The homeowner vacancy rate was 1.0%, the rental vacancy rate was 4.5%, 45,096 people 40 of the population lived in owner-occupied housing units and 54,635 people 48 .5 lived in rental housing units. The population was spread out with 13,872 people 12.3% under the age of 18, 30,295 people 26.9% aged 18 to 24, 30,231 people 26.9% aged 25 to 44, 25,006 people 22.2% aged 45 to 64, and 13,176 people 11.7% who were 65 years of age age or older. The median age was 31.0 years. For every 100 females, there were 95.6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 94.2 males. According to the 2011 American Community Survey five-year estimate, the median income for a household in the city was $60,908, and the median income for a family was $102,976. Males had a median income of $67,476 versus $57,319 for females. The per capita income for the city was $38,896. About 7.2% of families and 18.3% of the population were below the poverty line, including 13.2% of those under age 18 and 9.2% of those age 65 or over. Berkeley has a higher than average crime rate, particularly property crime, though the crime rate has fallen significantly since 2000. <laughs> Homelessness in Berkeley <laughs> History 
The city of Berkeley has historically been a central location for homeless communities in the Bay Area. Since the 1930s, the city of Berkeley has fostered a tradition of political activism. However, though the city has been perceived as a hub for liberal thought and action, it has passed ordinances to oust homeless individuals from Berkeley on multiple occasions. Despite efforts to remove unhoused individuals from the streets and projects to improve social service provision for this demographic, homelessness has continued to be a significant problem in Berkeley. Topic: 1960s. A culture of anti-establishment and socio-political activism marked the 1960s. The San Francisco Bay Area became a hotspot for hippie counterculture, and Berkeley became a haven for nonconformists and anarchists from all over the United States. Most public discourse around homelessness in Berkeley at this time was centered around the idea of street living as an expression of counterculture. During the free speech movement in the fall of 1964, Berkeley became a hub of civil unrest, with demonstrators and UC Berkeley students sympathizing with the statewide protests for free speech and assembly, as well as revolting against university restrictions against student political activities and organizations established by UC President Clark Kerr in 1959. Many non-student youth and adolescents sought alternative lifestyles and opted for voluntary homelessness during this time. In 1969, People's Park was created and eventually became a haven for small-time drug dealers, street people, and the homeless. Although the city of Berkeley has moved unhoused individuals from its streets, sometimes even relocating them to an unused landfill, People's Park has remained a safe space for them since its inception. The park has become one of the few relatively safe spaces for homeless individuals to congregate in Berkeley and the Greater Bay Area. 1970s Stereotypes of homeless people as deviant individuals who chose to live vagrant lifestyles continued to color the discourse around street dwellers in American cities. However, this time period was also characterized by a subtle shift in the perception of unhoused individuals. The public began to realize that homelessness affected not only single men, but also women, children, and entire families. This recognition set the stage for the city of Berkeley's attitude towards homelessness in the next decade. Topic: 1980s The 1980s marked the start of modern homelessness as it is discussed today, caused by changing social and economic policies rather than individual choice. This era was characterized by the implementation of some of the strictest rent control ordinances in Berkeley's history. Such laws were intended to improve the living conditions of all Berkeley tenants, but were shown to predominantly benefit middle-class white citizens rather than low-income individuals. The strict rent control laws had the adverse effect of discouraging investment by for-profit developers and contributed to an increase in property ownership by the middle class with a decrease in rented housing. The low availability of affordable rental units led to a significant spike in homelessness in Berkeley, and continues to be one of the key reasons for homelessness in the area today. Federal policy changes led to increased rates of homelessness in California, and the deinstitutionalization of those with mental conditions led to greater visibility of the homeless. Although homelessness increased substantially during the 1980s, the deinstitutionalization of the mentally ill has been occurring steadily since the mid 1950s. Large-scale deinstitutionalization of the mentally ill in the last quarter of the 20th century coincided with growth in the number of public shelters and increased visibility of the homeless. Organizations such as Building Opportunities for Self-Sufficiency were established in 1971 in response to the needs of mentally ill individuals being released to the streets by state hospital closures. Topic: 1990s in the 1990s, the city of Berkeley faced a substantial increase in the need for emergency housing shelters and saw a rise in the average amount of time individuals spent without stable housing. As housing became a more widespread problem, the general public, Berkeley City Council, and the University of California became increasingly anti-homeless in their opinions. In 1994, Berkeley City Council considered the implementation of a set of anti-homeless laws that the San Francisco Chronicle described as being among the strictest in the country. 
These laws prohibited sitting, sleeping and begging in public spaces, and outlawed panhandling from people in a variety of contexts, such as sitting on public benches, buying a newspaper from a rack, or waiting in line for a movie. In February 1995, the American Civil Liberties Union sued the city for infringing free speech rights through its proposed anti-panhandling law. In May of that same year, a federal judge ruled that the anti-panhandling law did violate the First Amendment, but left the anti-sitting and sleeping laws untouched. Following the implementation of these anti-sitting and sleeping ordinances in 1998, Berkeley increased its policing of homeless adults and youth, particularly in the shopping district surrounding Telegraph Avenue. The mayor at that time, Shirley Dean, proposed a plan to increase both social support services for homeless youth and enforcement of anti-encampment laws. Unhoused youth countered this plan with a request for the establishment of the city's first youth shelter, more trash cans, and more frequent cleaning of public bathrooms. Topic: 21st century. The city of Berkeley's 2017 annual homeless report and point in time count pit estimate that on a given night, 972 people are homeless. 68% people of these individuals are also unsheltered, living in places not considered suitable for human habitation, such as cars or streets. Long-term homelessness in Berkeley is double the national average, with 27% of the city's homeless population facing chronic homelessness. Chronic homelessness has been on the rise since 2015, and has been largely a consequence of the constrained local housing market. In 2015, rent in Alameda County increased by 25%, while the average household income only grew by 5%. This disparity not only contributes to the growing homeless population in Berkeley, but also presents an increased need for more affordable housing in the Greater East Bay. According to the 2017 report, only 3% of unhoused Berkeley individuals reported that they would be uninterested in permanent, affordable housing if it were available. Demonstrating that homelessness in Berkeley is largely an issue of economic insecurity rather than individual choice, as it once was. The overrepresentation of unsheltered minorities, primarily African Americans, in Berkeley is a consequence of systemic and institutionalized racism and economic disadvantages, preventing homeless people of color from competing for rising rent, thus limiting access to housing for minority groups in Berkeley. The City of Berkeley's 2017 report also estimated the number of unaccompanied youth in Berkeley at 189 individuals, 19% of the total homeless population in the city. Homeless youth display greater risk of mental health issues, behavioral problems, and substance abuse, than any other homeless age group. Furthermore, homeless youth identifying as LGBTQ plus are exposed to greater rates of physical and sexual abuse, and higher risk for sexually transmitted diseases, predominantly HIV. The city of Berkeley has seen a consistent rise in the number of chronically homeless individuals over the past 30 years, and has implemented a number of different projects to reduce the number of people living on the streets. In 2008, the city focused its efforts on addressing chronic homelessness. This led to a 48% decline in the number of chronically homeless individuals reported in the 2009 Berkeley pit. However, the number of hidden homeless individuals those coping with housing insecurity by staying at a friend or relative's residence, increased significantly, likely in response to rising housing costs and costs of living. In 2012, the city considered measures that banned sitting in commercial areas throughout Berkeley. The measure was met with strong public opposition and did not pass. However, the city saw a strong need for it to implement rules addressing encampments and public usage of space as well as assessing the resources needed to assist the unhoused population. In response to these needs the city of Berkeley established the Homeless Task Force, headed by then-council member Jesse Aregwine. Since its formation, the task force has proposed a number of different recommendations, from expanding the city homeless outreach and mobile crisis teams, to building a short-term transitional shelter for unhoused individuals. With the political activism of the UC, Berkeley has historically been vocal about the housing crisis that affects students and locals alike. An example of these efforts, to create and maintain space for those who cannot fight for themselves, lies in the movement to preserve People's Park as a place for the homeless population to call its own, instead of destroying it to make room for more student housing in the area. 
The efforts made by the community to create and maintain space for the homeless population in Berkeley did not stop there. With the history of homelessness and lack of affordable housing, there has been masses of organizations opening up with the sole mission to help this vulnerable population with not only housing assistance, but other symptoms that derive from homelessness. These organizations have stemmed from church groups, non-profits, even the UC. One of the many UC Berkeley student-run programs that focuses on assisting the homeless is the Suitcase Clinic. The Suitcase Clinic was established in the late 1980s by undergraduate and graduate-level students to provide direct medical services to the homeless and underrepresented population of Berkeley. Services provided by students have altered over the years to cater to the needs of the homeless population, and now include not only professional medical and dental support, but also health education, foot washing, child care, a hot meal, and services that promote mental well-being. Transportation Berkeley is served by Amtrak Capital Corridor, AC Transit, BART Ashby, Downtown Berkeley Station and North Berkeley and bus shuttles operated by major employers including UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. The East Shore Freeway Interstate 80 and Interstate 580 runs along the Bay Shoreline. Each day there is an influx of thousands of cars into the city by commuting UC faculty, staff and students, making parking for more than a few hours an expensive proposition. Berkeley has one of the highest rates of bicycle and pedestrian commuting in the nation. Berkeley is the safest city of its size in California for pedestrians and cyclists, considering the number of injuries per pedestrian and cyclist, rather than per capita. Berkeley has modified its original grid roadway structure through use of diverters and barriers, moving most traffic out of neighborhoods and onto arterial streets visitors often find this confusing, because the diverters are not shown on all maps. Berkeley maintains a separate grid of arterial streets for bicycles, called bicycle boulevards, with bike lanes and lower amounts of car traffic than the major streets they often parallel. Berkeley hosts car sharing networks including U-Haul Car Share, and Zipcar. Rather than owning and parking their own cars, members share a group of cars parked nearby. Web and telephone-based reservation systems keep track of hours and charges. Several pods, points of departure where cars are kept, exist throughout the city, in several downtown locations, at the Ashby and North Berkeley BART stations, and at various other locations in Berkeley and other cities in the region. Using alternative transportation is encouraged. Berkeley has had recurring problems with parking meter vandalism. In 1999, over 2,400 Berkeley meters were jammed, smashed, or sawed apart. Starting in 2005 and continuing into 2006, Berkeley began to phase out mechanical meters in favor of more centralized electronic meters. Topic: <laughs> Transportation history. The first commuter service to San Francisco was provided by the Central Pacific's Berkeley Branch Railroad, a standard gauge steam railroad, which terminated in downtown Berkeley, and connected in Emeryville, at a locale then known as Shell Mound, with trains to the Oakland Ferry Pier as well as with the Central Pacific Main Line starting in 1876. The Berkeley Branch Line was extended from Shattuck and University to Vine Street, Berryman Station, in 1878. Starting in 1882, Berkeley trains ran directly to the Oakland Pier. In the 1880s, Southern Pacific assumed operations of the Berkeley branch under a lease from its own paper affiliate, the Northern Railway. In 1911, Southern Pacific electrified this line and the several others it constructed in Berkeley, creating its East Bay Electric Lines Division. The huge and heavy cars specially built for these lines were called the Red Trains or the Big Red Cars. The Shattuck line was extended and connected with two other Berkeley lines the 9th Street Line and the California Street Line at Solano and Calusa the Calusa Y. At this time, the North Bray Tunnel and Rose Street Undercrossing were constructed, both of which still exist. The Rose Street Undercrossing is not accessible to the public, being situated between what is now two backyards. The 4th Berkeley Line was the Ellsworth Street Line to the university campus. The last red trains ran in July 1941. The first electric rail service in Berkeley was provided by several small streetcar companies starting in 1891. Most of these were eventually bought up by the key system of Francis 
Borax, Smith who added lines and improved equipment. The key system streetcars were operated by its East Bay Street Railways division. Principal lines in Berkeley ran on Euclid, the Arlington, College, Telegraph, Shattuck, San Pablo, University, and Grove today's Martin Luther King Jr. Way. The last streetcars ran in 1948, replaced by buses. The first electric commuter interurban type trains to San Francisco from Berkeley were put in operation by the key system in 1903, several years before the Southern Pacific electrified its steam commuter lines. Like the SP, key trains ran to a pier serviced by the key's own fleet of ferryboats, which also docked at the ferry building in San Francisco. After the Bay Bridge was built, the key trains ran to the Transbay Terminal in San Francisco, sharing tracks on the lower deck of the Bay Bridge with the SP's red trains and the Sacramento Northern Railroad. It was at this time that the key trains acquired their letter designations, which were later preserved by Key's public successor, AC Transit. Today's F bus is the successor of the F train. Likewise, the E, G and the H before the bridge, these lines were simply the Shattuck Avenue Line, the Claremont Line, the Westbray Line, and the Sacramento Street Line, respectively. After the Southern Pacific abandoned Transbay service in 1941, the key system acquired the rights to use its tracks and catenary on Shattuck north of Dwight Way and through the North Bray Tunnel to the Alameda for the F train. The SP tracks along Monterey Avenue as far as Calusa had been acquired by the key system in 1933 for the H train, but were abandoned in 1941. The key system trains stopped running in April 1958. On December 15, 1962, the North Bray Tunnel was opened to auto traffic. Economy <inaudible> 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 Topic. Top employers According to the city's 2016 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the top employers in the city are topic. Businesses Berkeley is the location of a number of nationally prominent businesses, many of which have been pioneers in their areas of operation. Notable businesses include Chez Panisse, birthplace of California cuisine, Pete's Coffee's original store, the Claremont Resort, Punk Rock Haven 924 Gilman, and Saul Zance's Fantasy Studios. Notable former businesses include pioneer bookseller Cody's Books, The Nature Company, Cliff Bar Energy Foods, and the Berkeley Co-op. Berkeley has relatively few chain stores for a city of its size, due to policies and zoning that promote small businesses and limits to the size of certain types of stores. Places Major streets Shattuck Avenue passes through several neighborhoods from north to south, including the downtown business district in Berkeley. It is named for Francis K. Shattuck, one of Berkeley's earliest influential citizens. University Avenue runs from Berkeley's Bayshore and Marina in the west to the University of California campus in the east. College Avenue, running from the University of California from the north to Broadway in Oakland in the south close to the foothill, is a relatively quiet street compared with other major streets in Berkeley. It has many nice restaurants and small shops. Ashby Avenue, Highway 13, which also runs from Berkeley's Bayshore to the hills, connects with the Warren Freeway and Highway 24 leading to the Caldecott Tunnel, named for a former Berkeley mayor. San Pablo Avenue Highway 123 runs north-south through West Berkeley, connecting Oakland and Emeryville to the south and Albany to the north. Telegraph Avenue, which runs north-south from the university campus to Oakland, historically the site of much of the hippie culture of Berkeley. Martin Luther King Jr. Way, which until 1984 was called Grove Street, runs north-south a few blocks west of Shattuck Avenue, connecting Oakland and the freeways to the south with the neighborhoods and other communities to the north. Sacramento Street is one of the four streets with a median in Berkeley, running from Hopkins Street from the north to Alcatraz Avenue in the south. Solano Avenue, a major street for shopping and restaurants, runs east-west near the north end of Berkeley, continuing into Albany. 
Since 1974, Solano Avenue has hosted the annual Solano Avenue Stroll and Parade of the Twin Cities of Albany and Berkeley, the East Bay's largest street festival. Topic: <laughs> Freeways. The East Shore Freeway I-80 and I-580 runs along Berkeley's Bayshore with exits at Ashby Avenue, University Avenue and Gilman Street. Topic: <inaudible> Bicycle and pedestrian paths. Ohlone Greenway, San Francisco Bay Trail, Berkeley I-80 Bridge, opened in 2002, an arch suspension bridge spanning Interstate 80, for bicycles and pedestrians only, giving access from the city at the foot of Addison Street to the San Francisco Bay Trail, the East Shore State Park and the Berkeley Marina. Berkeley's network of historic pathways – Berkeley has a network of historic pathways that link the winding neighborhoods found in the hills and offer panoramic lookouts over the East Bay. A complete guide to the pathways may be found at Berkeley Path Wanderers Association website. Neighborhoods Berkeley has a number of distinct neighborhoods. Surrounding the University of California campus are the most densely populated parts of the city. West of the campus is downtown Berkeley, the city's traditional commercial core, home of the Civic Center, the city's only public high school, the busiest BART station in Berkeley, as well as a major transfer point for AC transit buses. South of the campus is the Southside neighborhood, mainly a student ghetto, where much of the university's student housing is located. The busiest stretch of Telegraph Avenue is in this neighborhood. North of the campus is the quieter Northside neighborhood, the location of the Graduate Theological Union. Farther from the university campus, the influence of the university quickly becomes less visible. Most of Berkeley's neighborhoods are primarily made up of detached houses, often with separate in-law units in the rear, although larger apartment buildings are also common in many neighborhoods. Commercial activities are concentrated along the major avenues and at important intersections. In the southeastern corner of the city is the Claremont District, home to the Claremont Hotel, and the Elmwood District, with a small shopping area on College Avenue. West of Elmwood is South Berkeley, known for its weekend flea market at the Ashby Station. West of and including San Pablo Avenue, a major commercial corridor, is West Berkeley, the historic commercial center of the city, and the former unincorporated town of Ocean View. West Berkeley contains the remnants of Berkeley's industrial area, much of which has been replaced by retail and office uses, as well as residential live-work loft space, with the decline of manufacturing in the United States. The areas of South and West Berkeley are in the midst of redevelopment. Some residents have opposed redevelopment in this area. Along the shoreline of San Francisco Bay at the foot of University Avenue is the Berkeley Marina. Nearby is Berkeley's Aquatic Park, featuring an artificial linear lagoon of San Francisco Bay. North of downtown is the North Berkeley neighborhood, which has been nicknamed the Gourmet Ghetto because of the concentration of well-known restaurants and other food-related businesses. West of North Berkeley is West Bray, a small neighborhood through which part of the Ohlone Greenway runs. Meanwhile, further north of North Berkeley are North Bray, a master-planned subdivision from the early 20th century, and Thousand Oaks. Above these last three neighborhoods, on the western slopes of the Berkeley Hills are the neighborhoods of Cragment and La Loma Park, notable for their dramatic views, winding streets, and numerous public stairways and paths. Apartments and other higher-density housing in Berkeley, California Points of interest University of California, Berkeley Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive Berkeley Marina Berkeley History Center 1931 Center Street Berkeley Public Library Shattuck Avenue at Kittredge Street Berkeley Repertory Theater Berkeley Rose Garden Cloyne Court Hotel, a member of the Berkeley Student Cooperative Hearst Greek Theater, home of the annual Berkeley Jazz Festival Judah L. Magnus Museum Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Lawrence Hall of Science Regional Parks Botanic Garden Tilden Regional Park 
University of California Botanical Garden The Campanile Sather Tower in the University of California, Berkeley campus Telegraph Avenue and People's Park, both known as centers of the counterculture of the 1960s The Berkeley Free Clinic, a free clinic operating since 1969 The Edible Schoolyard is a one-acre garden at Martin Luther King Middle School Berkeley, Berkeley High School Topic. Parks and recreation The city has many parks, and promotes greenery and the environment. The city has planted trees for years and is a leader in the nationwide effort to re-tree urban areas. Tilden Regional Park, lies east of the city, occupying the upper extent of Wildcat Canyon between the Berkeley Hills and the San Pablo Ridge. The city is also heavily involved in creek restoration and wetlands restoration, including a planned daylighting of Strawberry Creek along Center Street. The Berkeley Marina and East Shore State Park flank its shoreline at San Francisco Bay and organizations like the Urban Creeks Council and Friends of the Five Creeks the former of which is headquartered in Berkeley support the riparian areas in the town and coastlines as well. Cesar Chavez Park, near the Berkeley Marina, was built at the former site of the city dump. Topic landmarks and historic districts 165 buildings in Berkeley are designated as local landmarks or local structures of merit. Of these, 49 are listed in the National Register of Historic Places, including, Berkeley High School the city's only public high school and the Berkeley Community Theater, which is on its campus. Berkeley Women's City Club, now Berkeley City Club, Julia Morgan 1929 First Church of Christ, Scientist, Bernard Maybeck 1910 St. John's Presbyterian Church, Julia Morgan 1910, now the Berkeley Playhouse Studio Building, Architect Not Recorded, Built for Frederick H. Dakin 1905 William R. Thorson House, now Sigma Phi Society Chapter House, Charles Sumner Green and Henry Mather Green 1908 Historic districts listed in the National Register of Historic Historic Places, George C. Edwards Stadium, located at intersection of Bancroft Way and Fulton Street on University of California, Berkeley Campus 80 acres 32 hectares, 3 buildings, 4 structures, 3 objects, added 1993. Site of the Clark Kerr Campus, UC Berkeley, until 1980, this location housed the State Asylum for the Deaf, Dumb and Blind, also known as the California Schools for the Deaf and Blind, bounded by Dwight Way, the City Line, Derby Street, and Warring Street 500 acres 2.0 square kilometers, 20 buildings, added 1982. The school was closed in 1980 and the Clark Kerr Campus was opened in 1986. See List of Berkeley Landmarks, Structures of Merit, and Historic Districts. Arts and culture Berkeley is home to the Chilean-American community's La Peña Cultural Center, the largest cultural center for this community in the United States. The Freight and Salvage is the oldest established full-time folk and traditional music venue west of the Mississippi River. Additionally, Berkeley is home to the off-Broadway theater Berkeley Repertory Theater, commonly known as Berkeley Rep. The Berkeley Repertory Theater consists of two stages, a school, and has received a Tony Award for Outstanding Regional Theater. The historic Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive is operated by UC Berkeley, and was moved to downtown Berkeley in January 2016. It offers many exhibitions and screenings of historic films, as well as outreach programs within the community. <laughs> <laughs> Annual events Jewish Music Festival, March Cal Day University of California, Berkeley Open House, April Berkeley Arts Festival, April and May Himalayan Fair, May The Berkeley Juneteenth Festival, Adeline, Alcatraz Corridor, June Berkeley Kite Festival, July Berkeley Juggling and Unicycling Festival, July or August The Solano Avenue Stroll, Solano Avenue, Berkeley and Albany, September Topic. Education Topic. Colleges and universities 
University of California, Berkeley's main campus is in the city limits. The Graduate Theological Union, a consortium of nine independent theological schools, is located a block north of the University of California Berkeley's main campus. The Graduate Theological Union has the largest number of students and faculty of any religious studies doctoral program in the United States. In addition to more theological schools, Zaytuna College, a newly established Muslim liberal arts college, has taken Holy Hill as its new home. Wright Institute, a psychology graduate school, is located in Berkeley. Berkeley City College is a community college in the Peralta Community College District. <laughs> Primary and secondary schools The Berkeley Unified School District operates public schools. The first public school in Berkeley was the Ocean View School, now the site of the Berkeley Adult School located at Virginia Street and San Pablo Avenue. The public schools today are administered by the Berkeley Unified School District. In the 1960s, Berkeley was one of the earliest U.S. cities to voluntarily desegregate, utilizing a system of buses, still in use. The city has one public high school, Berkeley High School BHS. Established in 1880, BHS currently has over 3,000 students. The Berkeley High Campus was designated a historic district by the National Register of Historic Places on January 7, 2008. St. Mary's College High School, a Catholic school, also has its street address in Berkeley, although most of the grounds and buildings are actually in neighboring Albany. Berkeley has 11 public elementary schools and three middle schools. The East Bay campus of the German International School of Silicon Valley GISSV, formerly occupied the Hillside Campus, Berkeley, California. It opened there in 2012. In December 2016, the GISSV closed the building. Due to unmet seismic retrofit needs, there is also the Bay Area Technology School, the only school in the whole Bay Area to offer a technology and science based curriculum, with connections to leading universities. Berkeley also houses Zaytuna College, the first accredited Muslim, liberal arts college in the United States. <laughs> Public libraries Berkeley Public Library serves as the municipal library. University of California, Berkeley Libraries operates the University of California Berkeley Libraries. Government Berkeley has a council manager government. The mayor is elected at large for a four-year term and is the ceremonial head of the city and the chair of the city council. The Berkeley City Council is composed of the mayor and eight council members elected by district who each serve four-year terms. Districts 2, 3, 5 and 6 hold their elections in years divisible by 4 while districts 1, 4, 7 and 8 hold theirs in even-numbered years not divisible by 4. The city council appoints a city manager, who is the chief executive of the city. Additionally, the city voters directly elect an independent city auditor and a rent stabilization board. The current council members are Mayor at large, Jesse Areguin District 1, Linda Mayo District 2, Cheryl Devilla District 3, Ben Bartlett District 4, Kate Harrison District 5, Sophie Hahn District 6, Susan Wangraff District 7, Chris Worthington District 8, Lori Drost Most of the university housing is located in District 7 although Foothill and Clark Kerr are in Districts 6 and 8, respectively. Districts 4 and 7 are majority student. Berkeley is also part of Alameda County, for which the government of Alameda County is defined and authorized under the California Constitution, California law, and the charter of the County of Alameda. The county government provides countywide services, such as elections and voter registration, law enforcement, jails, vital records, property records, tax collection, public health, and social services. The county government is primarily composed of the elected five-member Board of Supervisors, other elected offices including the Sheriff, Coroner, the District Attorney, Assessor, Auditor Controller, County Clerk, Recorder, and Treasurer, Tax Collector, and numerous county departments and entities under the supervision of the County Administrator. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. 
Politics Berkeley has been a Democratic stronghold in presidential elections since 1960, becoming one of the most Democratic cities in the country. The last Republican presidential candidate to receive at least one quarter of the vote in Berkeley was Richard Nixon in 1968. However, at the local level, Republicans dominated Berkeley city politics into the 1970s, with Republicans holding the mayor's office for all but eight years from 1919 to 1971, with Wallace J.S. Johnson being the last Republican mayor. Notable people Notable individuals who were born in and or have lived in Berkeley include actors Ben Affleck and Andy Samberg, Billy Joe Armstrong, lead singer of Green Day, and rapper Lil B. <laughs> Sister cities Berkeley has 16 sister cities Asmara, Eritrea Blackfeet Nation, Montana, United States Yurok Tribe, California, United States Haidian District, Beijing, China City of Djibouti, Djibouti Sakai, Osaka, Japan Gao, Mali Uma Bawang, Malaysia Dmitrov, Moscow Oblast, Russia Jena, Thuringia, Germany Ulan Ude, Buryasha, Russia San Antonio Los Ranchos, El Salvador Mathopstad, South Africa OUKC, South Africa Yondo, Colombia Palma Soriano, Cuba León, Nicaragua See also Berkeley, California portal